Welcome back to another SkiBoatPartsOnline.com Ski Boat Service video. I'm Ron Tannis. Today we're going to take a look at the Medallion MDC 1600. This is the uh, instrument or computer that controls the instrumentation on your dash on many ski boats. Uh, built during the late 1997-98, uh, uh, 99, or through about 2001 or 2. Um, this is a new MDC. Um, the basic configuration, you've got uh, two speedometer uh, inputs. You have the large block uh, multi-pin connector, which is the input wiring. And then the smaller oval multi-pin connector is all of the output or digital output wiring going to the gauges themselves. A customer sent us this MDC uh, for test and evaluation along with a, a new one. We're going to show that uh, in here in a few minutes. And we're going to test this unit and also test it alongside of a brand new unit. Um, the primary cause of failure that we have seen is water intrusion into the circuit board. Uh, now this happens uh, where water uh, from the speedometer tubes uh, gets into the pressure sensor housing area. That's the black plastic uh, dome with the secondary and, and primary printed on it. Water will get in there and if allowed to freeze it will break the uh, cover off or crack it and allow water to seep into the circuit board. Now in this case the circuit board has been completely violated. Uh, water has obviously gotten into the board and I'm sure that this MDC is going to test bad. But this is the most common failure for an MDC. Water intrusion into the circuit board uh, causing corrosion. Another uh, failure that we've seen is uh, occasionally somebody will connect their battery uh, backwards. They'll get the polarity wrong, connect the, uh, the red to the negative and the, the black cable to the positive post. Uh, this has also been known to destroy these MDCs. Now this MDC, when it arrived here, the plastic dome had already been broken off. Uh, the freeze damage, I'm assuming, uh, completely uh, broke the seal where the dome was attached to the housing. And water has obviously uh, gotten into the circuit board. You'll see in this other picture uh, a close-up of the actual contact of the pins from the sensor and the corrosion that's already taking place. Next will be a short video that I took uh, connecting this old MDC and doing a quick simple bench test uh, and then connecting the uh, a new MDC up to show how the gauges are supposed to act and react. Okay, this is the original MDC that was sent back from your customer's boat. This is the new MDC that you also sent back. We're going to test both of them real quick. Um, I always start with just a simple uh, medallion voltmeter. Plugged in, the wiring block. Black is ground and is hooked up to our battery. The red and the purple. Red is hot all the time. Purple is ignition on. So in this test, they're wired together. So we're going to watch this. Now, if it's working, there will be a delay, a slight delay, before the needle moves, and then it should go up and down and then settle on what the voltage is. So we're going to hit power now. Give it just a minute. So far, there's absolutely no activity. This board obviously has water damage. Uh, looks like the common typical freeze damage from the speedometer uh, sensors. I can actually see the corrosion inside there. All right, we're dead as a doornail here. Now we're going to repeat the exact test with a new MDC.
Okay, ready to power up. Power is up. Wait for a minute. I hear it chattering. And there she goes up to 13 volts. This is on the new MDC. Now just for the heck of it, we're going to actually plug in a couple of other instruments. Fuel gauge is going to be next, and that's going to be the pink. We're going to go ahead and power it up. And we have it chattered, and we have no fuel. So now we're going to fuel the pink center to ground. Now the fuel has a delay built into it. So don't expect that needle to jump right over to full. That's to prevent, uh, or in case your fuel tank is sloshing around. A lot of mechanics will think uh, they're expecting a, an immediate needle swing over. That's not going to happen with the medallion system. Okay, that one's good. Oil pressure. Do the same test with oil pressure. Oil pressure is going to be the blue wire. So first we're going to connect power to it. She's chattering. We have zero oil pressure. Now I'm going to fool it, ground out the sender. Full oil pressure. Okay, oil pressure is working. Now we have what? We've got water temp. Water temperature. Water temperature is going to be the tan wire. So let's power it up. When I get the tan wire, she chatters. We have no water temperature in the engine. So we're going to fool the sender, go to ground. Now she's overheating. Everything there is fine. Disconnect power. Okay, the last gauge we're going to do is the uh, speedometer. It's an old nasty bench speedometer. Let's see if I can get these things all. Power it up. Okay, we have power to it, and she's chattering, but we have no speed. So, to create speed, we're going to apply a little bit of regulated air pressure. Secondary. Okay, this is the secondary speedometer. Okay. Everything's working on the new one. So, next thing I do is double check some of the wiring on the boat. But uh, hopefully, uh, showing you this will help a little bit. Thank you.